episode 75, Done and Done. Mm-hmm. We uh, deconstruct some African Indians who... Uh, the Sentinelese? The Sentinelese, yeah. <laughs> okay. The, the little natives that... Uh, little natives? Uh, the nat- Yeah, it was like 50, you said, right? It's a little, a little okay. amount of natives. Okay, who, all right. Uh, took out, <laughs> who took out my boy just trying to preach the good word, you know? Yes. Sometimes sometimes you go on a little rant and people get a little cheese. Right. That's what happens. Yeah. That's too bad. It's not even like a quick, quick boom. It's like a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. So, uh, anyways, you'll, you'll probably enjoy this one. We have a little Amazon mishap in the middle. Yeah. So look out for that. But yeah. Cool. Merchandise. Pick up some teas on Teespring. Support the podcast by hitting up shop, shop.lightmyfire.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we got? We got some biking, some sharing. Yeah. Some uh, subscribing. And video replying. Oh, snap. <laughs> I don't know if we're like on beat with this song. So it's almost like if you listen to the song, you're like, oh, wow, they're singing the lyrics to the music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't yeah. know. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe that's what it's like. It could be. But, um, oh, I, I got a photo book drop in. Okay. Uh, it's going to be $1 for anybody if you have there nine to nine support nine. my work. <laughs> I should have dropped the 99 cents. I'm going with $1. $1. <laughs> and if you really want to read it, you just email me. I'll send it to you for free. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Here we go. We're back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This is episode seventy-five. Yeah, that's that's three quarters. Right, almost a dollar. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is your regularly scheduled podcast. We're talking about four things from the week that we thought were cool and dissect them as we play video games. Hence, the Socratic Gamers. Yes. So first on the docket, Vish, what do you got? Uh, well, but missionaries. And they're <laughs> okay. All right, interesting. And they're pushed to convert people. Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay. Well, it's about one specific guy. <laughs> okay, what what happened? Was it is it like silence the movie? Did he go there and then he found out that they weren't understanding anything? Uh, kind of, I guess. Or they totally rejected him. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, basically, he got killed by them. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 right. You know, okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay. I saw, like, a headline for it, but I never, like, read into it. Okay, he so got, like, I got, he got, like, shot down, right, by, like, a bow and arrow or something? Uh, bow well, and arrow tribe? No, 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 that, I think that's not the full information. Oh, so, okay, okay, okay. It's not his first time going there. Oh, so. Uh, or his first, or his, it's not his first encounter, let's say. Okay. Uh, and his first encounter is where the arrow was talked about, um, and, like, it hit his waterproof bible that's what they're writing in the wait, wait wait so it it was so like he was so lucky that the arrow shot out and then hit his water well, i don't think bible. they were that close right but they were just shooting arrows they don't want anyone wow but how did he catch that did he catch that or was it just like lucky probably hit it. oh okay okay cool well, i don't know i don't know per se that's but, pretty lucky um yeah so waterproof bible yeah it's crazy hmm. uh but yeah he was he believes he was like the God's God's instrument to bring this message, right? Oh, don't we all? So th- these are the tribes. It's called the uh, Sentinelese. Okay. And there's like in uh, these islands just uh, off see, of India. See, I heard that they didn't have any contact with humans, like other, like civilization before. Yeah, they're not. So their only contact was this guy? Uh, yeah, they, they really... Uh, it's it's uh, protected by the Indian Indian government to like... Not go there. N- not go there. Yeah. Really? Just to protect the Why tribe. is that? I wonder. Like, what are they trying to shield and hide there? I don't think they're hiding anything. It's just the tribe has been like secluded, and that it, they don't want any uh, problems to happen to them. Right. 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 Hold on. <laughs> oh shit. What's up? That would be. Pause that. <laughs> All right. Quick pause. And through the magic of Amazon, we are interrupted by an Amazon order. Yes. So uh, we are back. <laughs> All right, you were saying, Vish, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so both these Sentinelese tribes, they're, like, protected by the Indian government. Just to not go there, because the, these are, like, tribes that haven't 
met with any other like kind of community and things like that. So it's they're prone to catching diseases from us and things. Oh, that we're... I see, I see. Okay, so that's the reason why they don't want them to go there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just to keep. It's also like protecting them in a sense too, right? Oh, it's sort of like uh, like those ancient places around the world, like UNESCO sites. We're right. trying to keep it like. Like yeah, separated. untouched. Yeah, separated, whatever, something like that. So this guy uh, basically was going against the law. Oh, okay. So, see that that's the that's but, the thing. It, it's like when you hear somebody like fell off of like a skyscraper or something, or like mm-hmm. they, they're usually people who like break the rules. So it's like okay, the rules were set in place for a specific reason. You went to the island, you got killed. You yeah, know? yeah. Like they told you not to go there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he kept a diary. He he kept a diary. Yeah, okay. he was writing down his stuff. So because he left the diary, did he with have the waterproof f- paper? Uh, he left the diary with the fisherman. So okay, <laughs> okay. That he used to get to that island. Oh, okay. So he's like, if I don't come back, at least you'll know the truth of what happened here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of so <laughs> in his thing, there's a quote that says here, uh, uh, "Lord, uh, is this island?" Satan's last stronghold. Wow. Where none have heard or even had a chance to hear your name. Wow, that's that's interesting. <laughs> that's what he wrote in his book. That's so interesting. <laughs> it, this actually ties into my next topic. It's like, I was like, all right, which topic am I going to talk about first? But since you talked about this one, I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk about... I, I, I know which one I'm going to talk about next. But yeah, it's, it's weird how like he, he can get so pulled into like this belief system. Yeah. That he's like writing to himself in his own mind, mm-hmm. you know, that like, like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's wrote right, like, Lord, right. is this the, yeah, it was crazy. So, Not crazy, I mean like, yeah. I'm sure he believes it, but. Um, basically, yeah, he's broke all these laws. He didn't tell anyone that he was doing that with his missionary people. Actually, wait, wait hold on. I have also a question for you. That. Is it, is it, is it, what do you call it when it's like in the face of evidence you don't change your viewpoint. It's not. It's not crazy, but it's like. You know what I mean? It's like. It's like okay. Yeah. Well, scientific proof. We have all this blah blah blah, <laughs> and yet you still refuse to change. It's almost like um, cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Right. You right, just. Yeah. You don't want to admit because you put so much into this. You don't want to admit that you're wrong because it'll like destroy your entire belief system. Mm-hmm. I think that's what like most people can't deal with. Right. Yeah. Because they fortified an idea for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. And I'm just they wondering, truly believe like, it, though. Right? Yeah, because, like, to, to say something like that in this time, you know, like, well, I guess there's extremists in everything, right? Like, Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you're saying? Uh, so then um, they don't even think they can recover the body. That's another thing. Why, why, why? Because uh, it Like, hoarding? They're, like, hoarding it? Or no, like no, 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 no. So they, like, the way that they knew he's dead is because they dragged his body and buried him in the beach under the sand okay. that the fishermen saw. Okay. So, so the that, fishermen saw he did nothing. No, he can't do anything. Fishermen's like, it's on you, homie. There's nothing you can do. Oh, he's already dead? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, but they're, like, to recover that body. I don't, like, there could be now potential diseases coming out of that body. <laughs> like diseases that they didn't account that for? That he's like not. humans didn't account for? <laughs> that uh no 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 um yeah you're saying that uh no no that's coming from his body that he has immunity to that they don't it could oh. be rotting from his body oh they don't have yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah. i see so that's why they want to remove the body but they don't know if they can get to the body safely wow, it's crazy how like diseases work like that you know when like the native americans got wiped out through the flu yeah, because they were not like immunized against it or like mm-hmm. weren't prepared. That's crazy. Like small little things. I heard. <laughs> I heard. Uh, I heard that uh, like things like the Black Plague and stuff. They thought it was like the. Um, they thought it was like God. Yeah. Punishing them. Right, right, right. Because they couldn't like comprehend bacteria. Something yeah. so small was killing them. Yeah. So like this could happen to that tribe. Yeah, I don't know what the solution is going to be how, if they can even get the the the, the body right. And there's like uh, I think they say they did a census. I don't know a long time ago, I guess, but they couldn't like they had to fly over trying to count by hand how many people there are wow, of really? that tribe. But how could so you they see think everything? It's about, like... They think it's about again. This is a big range. 
Um, between 100 I, and 250,000. Uh, 50 to 100. <laughs> 50 to 100. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> it's, how big is the island? Uh, I don't know, actually, uh, but it's a couple islands. How I freaked believe. out do you think you'd be if you were on that island thinking that, that this is like a demon? They should totally make a movie about it. It kind of reminds me of Ap- Apocalypto. How, mm-hmm. like, they lived in that thing, and then the last scene was, like, a boat that was coming. They didn't realize how archaic their life was, you know? I mean, there's some videos. Um, there has been, like, interaction, but not not direct interaction. Like, people, I think I saw it on Joe Rogan. He was talking about it, and they were, like, tossing coconuts. Oh, like, yeah, free food. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Things like that. But, like, uh, he tried to do the same, too, I believe. He was given in... Um, Candy bars? Uh, some sort of things along with him singing those worship songs. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, some pins or some, some weird stuff like that. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that I, I believe, according to what I've uh, read so far, I could be wrong, but like, I think the, the religions of like the people of the book are the only ones that escaped death. Like, especially Christianity. Like, like how you can live forever. Oh, right, right. You know, so I think maybe that's what they're thinking. They're like, I can save you from eternal damnation. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's like, yeah, but you're, you and that religion are damned. But like, yeah. if you have no foreknowledge of the damnation, mm-hmm. how could you say that I'm going to go there? You know, saying like like what like you're going to this like this random island, yeah, 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 and you're saying like, you know, I could save you, but they're like, save me from what, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like even his trip because he did it overnight or under the night darkness, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. To, to hit hit away from the authorities. All I think he's is like, that's what you get. He's like, like God himself was hiding us from the coast guard and many in the patrols. <laughs> like, wow, this okay. is his linking, right? So yeah, it is what he was. He was giving them like um, give, gifts of fish, scissors, okay, hmm, scissors safety pins, safety and then pins and then he was yeah singing those worship songs. <laughs> wow, fish though. He he's even trying, wrote that trying to be like Christ with uh, loaves of bread and fish. Right. He wrote down something kind of interesting too, like when he like I guess his first encounter, like he he like the language. Wait, wait hold on. First Facebook. of all, you'd have to teach them English. Yeah, they don't even understand you at all. So. How are they going to, how's he going to convert anyone? (laughs) You have to first teach them English, then you have to teach them like the concept of. Well, I guess that's why he was given those gifts to show like a, like a nice person or whatever, right? Like, see, I wonder like if you look at it from a macro scale, the person that's sending these, like the bishops that are sending these people, like back then, I mean, obviously this guy was insane, but like it was just a power scheme to like control people through belief systems, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, to, to be on the lower level and believe that what you're doing is correct only to be unwittingly uh, used as a pawn by like bigger things yeah you know that's kind of mind blowing itself <laughs> you know what I mean because you're like he thinks that he's like you know, fixing or like achieving like sharing the word of God but like the one in charge of him is like oh I just need more resources right we need to expand this country, and the best way to do it is believing in some higher power. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, imagination is, like, the the greatest ruler of all. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know, like, how, like, I guess to, they said that toward the end of that journal, so I guess the last thing he wrote before he went there was, like, um, he was thinking that I would be, I could be more useful alive. Yeah. But to you, God, I will give all the glory uh, of whatever happens. Wow. Uh, so, and then he says, yeah, to forgive any of the people on the island who try to kill me. Okay. And especially if they succeed. That was the last thing I guess he wrote on there. Did Darn. he go to the island to die? Like, what's going on? I think he was potentially... He's, he knew who was going to be killed? Potentially could get killed. Maybe he sensed hostility. He's like, no. I'm uh, well, I think that's from the here. many. As, that's probably from the other encounters that he had, right? Right. I'm shooting an arrow at him. Exactly. At them. I mean, and so you're one man, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, and wow, like he didn't tell sense. any. Of, he tried to do it himself, kind of thing. Like he didn't tell the other 
other group that was there Bishops with him. Bishops and stuff? Other people that were there with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, there's multiple people on this, like, Like, trip? in this, yes. Mm-hmm. But they'd, he didn't tell anyone about the specific one that he was going to see these people. Right. So that's what was basically hidden away. I guess if he told them, they'd probably tell him not to go and stuff. If Wait, hold on. If, all right, like so was, you know, if, if you look at it, right... You have you have like all right you have different countries or like different um, ruling classes, mm-hmm. okay, and then it's like well how do we how do we get more, right? And it's like we use either the like the actual physical weapon or we use the weapon of knowledge, right? But at the end yeah. of the day, it's really like you're doing the same thing. It's like when you when you don't condone war and stuff, it's like but your actions do lead to to death still right because right, people right. can interpret it wrong or like but at the end of the day all you really want is just more stuff mm-hmm. it's like why can't you just let them be right you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah. It's, kind of, it's kind of weird like I don't know I've never really jived with the whole missionary thing no yeah I mean yeah that's basically it but that was it's like it's I like you're just that, like you're a soldier uh, yeah like like if you send troops yeah. to Afghanistan to like you know mm-hmm. convert them through the gun How's that any different than sending your priests to Japan to convert them through the word? Yeah. You know, the tool is the same. Like, the outcomes, right. the outcome is intended right. to be the same, but the tool is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it was, it was just an interesting story. I was like, hmm, why? <laughs> like, he really believed. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, I love how you he dealt. He was doing in- God's work. Yeah, yeah. I, lo- I love how you dealt into it. <laughs> and I mean, I saw that. I was like, oh, it sucks to suck, and I kept scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wanted to read into yeah, it. Yeah, it was like, like what's this is, going on? What's going on? It's crazy. I also wanted to know a little bit more about these. I knew about these tribes that, oh, that, that exist. And, like, I heard about that tribe that, like, I was, uh, someone I saw, like, in a comment is like, this is how you deal with immigration. <laughs> what, what, what? To not let anyone in. Oh, hi, 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 <laughs> It's kind of <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty, that's, that's crazy. No, I'm. Just trying, I think it's more crazy that that's actually happening in this day and age. Like that actually happened. That's like so archaic. Right. You know, you'd hear about that in a history textbook of when like Spain went to, you know, um, what do you call that? They went to the Aztec people. Right. That's like that's like mm-hmm. are we back in the 1800s or 1700s? What's right. Going on? You know, whatever. Yeah. So speaking of uh, belief systems, I saw Bohemian Rhapsody yesterday. Okay. And. Uh, it's all right, I won't like go into the review. It's a good movie, but really it was more about the psychology behind the movie. And uh, the guy, he was he was very like upon reflection. And Tara did tell me a bunch of cool stuff, like she, like a bunch of ways to perceive it. It was like a person who felt unloved and was like pining for acceptance. Right. So like he was his actual name's like Farouk something like some like Middle Eastern name. Right. Right. He's he's not actually white, right? But he like yeah, yeah, yeah. tried to you know be a part of a like that Caucasian oh, okay. band. Uh-huh. So like he was just kept escaping his identity. He even switched his name from Farouk to Freddie mm-hmm. and then his last name to Mercury. It was like some like you know, ethnic name. And he just like switched it. he legally switched it. They're like, Oh, but your name will always be Farouk blah 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 and he's right, like right, 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 No no, right. I legally switched it to Freddie Mercury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would like continue on this thing of like seeking acceptance like mm-hmm. he's he's a great artist like a lot of his songs a lot of queen songs i had no idea were queen songs i was just like oh these are like popular hits i oh, didn't know okay. that they were saying by right. queen but like really at the heart of it it's like it's interesting to see how if you're given everything mm-hmm. but you aren't getting the whole inside fulfilled you will seek infinitely yeah, like he was yeah, having yeah, these yeah, like yeah. crazy parties I see. And like, he was just living super lavishly and like, oh. extremely, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, 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 very fine point. And even like he, he had his wife who he loved so much, but then he was like secretly gay, and then he was mm-hmm. like with multiple partners, and then his wife found out, and they he tried to keep his wife there because like he's like, but you're the only one who believes in me, right? You know, we believe in each other, so that's why like I want you in my life, right? But it's like it's just pining for a hole to be filled, mm-hmm. you know. I just it's interesting, interesting. that yeah, it's, it's just interesting yeah. that like this one person, you don't really see, we see the surface level, right? All those fans were like, "Oh my god, Queen's so sick!" But then like 
he was tormented internally away right. from the camera. Yeah. It's sort of like that guy Takashi Six Nine who's like in jail. He's not. He's going to be in jail for like thirty two years because he was like robbing people. Thirty two to life, right? Thirty two to life. Yeah, with like a AK. Yeah. Similar thing. Like, you look at him and you're like, oh man, like you have all these tats on your face and like what's going on? But mm-hmm. like, you aren't really a person anymore. It's sort of like you're trying to not be a person by becoming a brand, just like mm-hmm. Freddie Mercury, just like Takashi Six Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you deep down know you're a person with flaws yeah so it's like you're trying to be it's it's like you're trying to be batman but you know you're bruce wayne mm-hmm. and batman's suffering as bruce wayne right you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah like we create these like fictitious narratives it's sort of like social media too it's like if you look on social media you're like oh your life is sick but it's like you don't really know what's really going on mm-hmm. and i think that's what the movie really impacted me with right like i i it was like kind of it was like it's hard for me to watch because okay. it was so much like pain on his end. Uh-huh. It was like tripping me out. I was like, "Oh wow, like you're doing some craziness." Okay, you know, right? But, yeah, just it's just interesting. Yeah. I don't know, you know? too much like, about different it. lives. Yeah. People live different lives. Right. But then um, conversely, uh, Tara was saying like how if if this was a man, a straight man, and those were the girls, he was like pulling in like think of like playboy yeah. with the, the bunny suits okay you're like oh okay that's normal but that's what we've just been ingrained in society but like uh-huh. if those were like men in bunny suits which they were in the movie not bunny suits but they were like in like leather like biker gear okay it was like whoa you know but it's like it's really not weird because like romans did that stuff too mm-hmm. different cultures okay we just have a concept of what correct is but there is no correct yeah, I see. You know? Uh-huh. Just a bunch of confused people who are, like, trying to make reality out of um, no def- definition of what real is. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. It's tripped me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good yeah. movie, though. So you Definitely. recommend it? Uh, I would say it's like a, I'd watch it once. You'd probably love it because it's, like, your kind of movie. Okay. But I, I don't think I'll watch it again. It was really good. Right, but it's just like to see that much longing. It's like kind of hard to watch. The drama. The drama, yeah. But like, there's like drama, but like then there's like unrelenting suffering. Right. You know, he yeah, was yeah, just yeah, like yeah, hurting yeah, yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, he was like yeah. looking for someone. But at the end of the movie, he found someone that he could be truthful to and like actually love. So mm-hmm. that was kind of cool. But like the journey up to that point was very difficult. And he died of AIDS, which. Oh. But I heard. I heard that AIDS was, it's not actually a disease born of homosexuality. It's more of like your body is breaking, can't, can't, um, like there's like a lot of drugs that are associated with that time period. Mm -hmm. So like if you hurt your immune system too much, it goes into like that stage. Like you, you contract AIDS through like hurting your body through drugs, no sleep, Mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's my topic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, me, I was like, oh, there's a lot to unload. All talking about movies. The trailer got released. Oh, I love how these are all like, like, um, like transitioning quite easily. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, speaking of movies, happen. you know, like, oh, speaking of psychology, you know, like, <laughs> all right. My last one has nothing to do with, or maybe it might. I might be like, oh, speaking of, you know, but whatever. All right, so what were you saying? Well, it's, it's a teaser I've been waiting for. It's something we grew up on, The Lion King. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so, yeah, they came out with the first teaser trailer. I was, like, super stoked. Yeah, okay. Cool. I don't know if you were. I w- mm. <laughs> it's, it's too real. It was too real. Too, oh, too I was real. like, oh, yeah, yeah, they were going to watch, like, goddamn cats, uh, like, actual cats right, right. talk to each other. Yes. Like, at least in the Did movie, we not it was, see like... Jungle Book? Uh, yeah, but Jungle Book... True. There was a human, though, in Jungle Book. So I was relying on the human. I was, like, mm. pretending, like, oh, he could hear these things. But, like, now we're just watching animals talk to animals. I don't know. Maybe it'll be sick. Who knows? I but, think, yeah, keep going. I, I, well, they're just doing the same story, right? But just updated. So, they, they're, like, the funny thing that's happening now, because we're seeing live action. Okay. But the whole thing is animated. Oh, it is? They're not real animals. Oh, no, no, of course, of course. But, like, the way... The, 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 that's but like, the actors who were like moving 
no, they're not. No. Oh, it's it's all CGI. Yeah. Oh, like Jungle Book. Was. So so it's like it's like cartoons. See, it's that's like a, cartoons. So this is this is where people are questioning. Like, I mean, how can you say it's? They're saying live action, but it's not they live just call action. It CGI. It's not. Yeah, it's not live action. Okay. Yeah. It's actually animated, but to it a higher like degree of like clarity and like yeah, to make yeah, it yeah. look as real as possible. That's what I'm saying. CGI. Yeah. Yeah. But they will. It, they still view it and they still say it as live what, action. What does CGI I just, stand for? Uh, computer graphic. generated oh. imaging? Computer okay, generated cool, cool, graphic. Cool. I don't know. Computer graphics. Something, something like that. All right. So you're saying? Uh, uh, but like that's, that was like going on on Twitter, like live action, but like. That's true, actually. Is yeah, it yeah, live action? It like because it's not really live action. Well, the only thing I did like about the trailer is they didn't show off anybody else's voice aside from Mufasa. Yeah, because. And I'm like, I already heard that it's voice. It's just a wanna, teaser, right? Yeah, I know, but I want to see what, what Childish Gambino is going to s- sound like as Simba. Yeah, but it's just a teaser. It's yeah. just a teaser. It, yes. it's, not a, like, it's not a. And it's Rafiki, just a teaser. Rafiki looks like bit. a monkey. I'm like, dude, he doesn't look like a spiritual teacher at all. He looks like a monkey. It's supposed to be monkey though. I know, but like you got a sense of him being a spiritual teacher in the in the first one because he's got like the staff. He's like dancing and stuff. I don't know how they're gonna make it, but this was he. They didn't even show him that long though. I know, but he, he walked like a monkey. I was like, oh man, that's live action, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's, it's it's uh it's animated realism. Yeah, I I do want to see how the mouth movements go. Like that's what I'm saying. Really yeah. work. No, no, of course, of course. But I'm I'm excited to see all that stuff. True. Right. Well, they did it. Yeah, they did do it in Jungle Book. Yeah, of course, though, it, yeah. Talked. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, the same. It's, it's the, the same Mowgli director. It's the out. same director. Oh, okay. That no. All right. So he's got experience in it. That's good. Um. Uh. Well, the Netflix Mowgli is coming out. That looks cool. Yeah, that's totally separate. I know. I know I'm just right. saying. But like. Uh. Basically, yeah. So all the I I, I want to look like all the care actors that are going to be in this. So okay, of yeah. course, you know. As, is Idris Elba in it? Uh no he's not in this oh, one. Ah, his voice is so boss. He, yeah he was the Khan Shao Khan. Yeah yeah in, not Shao Khan that's Mortal Kombat. The Shere Khan. Shere Khan yeah. Uh in yeah in Jungle Book so there's yet yeah, um Donald Glover as Simba, aka Childish Gambino. Right. Um his I didn't like him as Lando. As what? Lando Calrissian. In what? Oh, you didn't see that movie? No. Star Wars, um... The oh, one. the... We saw it together, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The, that was the... Han Solo movie? Yeah, the Han Solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solo. But yeah. him as, him as like, Lando was kind of awkward. Oh. He's, like, he's like an awkward person, <laughs> you know? It's hard to, like, defeat right. that energy. Not mm-hmm. saying you're, like, a bad person. Like, you're, you're awesome, love your music. But, like, just the way he acts, he acts like the same person in every movie. Okay. You know what I mean? There's no, like, new take on it he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah he's being himself um beyonce as nala oh wow that's that's cool right beyonce whoa uh i think i saw seth rogan as as pumba oh okay that's cool yeah he, i could see that uh and then um so they hans zimmer is doing the music again. oh nice hans zimmer. i love i love hans that they're zimmer. making this like like they're trying to redo all of these uh, Disney movies, you know, because yeah, they were so good. It's like you can't, don't uh, reinvent the wheel or don't fix what's not broken. Mm-hmm. And then, um, let's see here. yeah, so same guy from Mufasa again. You uh, know that guy played um, the guy who played Mufasa also played Darth Vader. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, same voice. Uh, let's see. Anyone else that we that we know? Anybody that blows my mind? John Oliver as Zazu. John Oliver. He does those. Um, I I just can't think of his voice right now. Yeah. I can see how that works. Um, so I like we don't know this actor who's playing Rafiki, but he okay. was in um, Black Panther. He was the father. Oh okay yeah okay yeah, so yeah. that guy, uh, and then I don't know how to say this guy's name who's playing Scar. Um, Chueto Chu I don't know. Oh, what movies is he from? He's been in a few movies. I don't can't recall right now. He's in, but we uh, know him. We'll know the face. Yeah, no, no. I I've seen him in different movies. I can't recall what movie. Oh, he was in that uh, Red Belt movie with the BJJ people. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know Red what you're Yeah, he was in Red Belt. There was other movies that are more, he's more with the prizing roles kind of thing. Yeah, but I can't think. Oh, he was 12 Years a Slave. Yes, that's, that's the that, main that's one. That that's the main yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm good at my movie, my movie <laughs> lore. Uh, and then one of the Keel and Peel guys. Not, yeah, the key guy. <laughs> oh, nice, cool. Which would be one of the, I think these the names dude. are for the hy- hyenas? Oh, nice. Okay, I think cool. so. So these people are going to be hyenas. Yeah. Key, key from Key and Key and there's some other c- couple actors that I don't know. Cool. Yeah, that's so, cool. Uh, so then Elton John is also reworking the original no way. song Elton that he did. John. Oh, there's that Elton John movie that's coming out. Rocket Man or something. Oh. Looks really good. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. It's coming out July 19th. 2019? 2019. Oh, nice. That's like pretty soon. In a few months. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'd see it. I mean, like, it's one of those you just got to see. Of course see, you got to see it. Yeah. But, like, I don't know if it's going to be epic. <laughs> you do have to see it. Just take my money. Right. Just take it. <laughs> I mean, I think this is good for Disney. I think they're, I don't know if they're doing other ones, too. I think they might be. I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, I think it's working for them. I think with the Jungle Book, huge success. Right, right, right. They're right. going ahead with all these other ones. They're doing Aladdin. I think we talked about that on an older podcast, but yeah, they released that trailer. I mean, is that coming out? I guess before. I don't know, but I like Guy Ritchie. Right. Yeah, so that's cool. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of Disney. Oh shit. See, see how I pulled that together. I, I'm going <laughs> to connect it so far. All right. So I read uh, the Dharma of Star Wars. See the connection there? Okay, yeah, they own Star, Wars. Star Wars. Okay, okay. okay. Um, and it was actually, I think you're going to like this. All right. Uh, it was the hmm, it was the most realistic look on spirituality or like Buddhism that I've ever encountered. Okay. So their definition of a Buddha mm-hmm. is an ordinary person with ordinary problems with okay. an extraordinary outlook. I made that up. Like, that's, not, that's basically what they said, okay. you know? But, like, they didn't say it in those terms, but, like, that's basically what it is. And it's like, of course it would be, you know? Because they always say, like, oh, Buddha was just a normal person. He's just like you and I. It's like, yeah, he is because, like, there is no, there's no, like, magic. What they said in the book is, like, a lot of people will search for this, like, amazing state of, like, enlightenment that, like, because, mm-hmm. like, in spiritual books, they say, like, oh, it's right in front of you the whole time. Yeah. And it's like, you think that these enlightened beings are like they could fly or they've got like these magical powers, but it's really just like normal people yeah. encountering normal problems <laughs> with just a different outlook on life. Right. You know, extraordinary outlook. They're like, oh, this is like, this is the situation and mm-hmm. that's what it is. Right. You know? And, um, and then it also said like, well, in a different book, uh, Tibetan book of the living and dying, they're saying that if you encounter a true Buddha, you will actually know them. Like, you, you, will, you will know that it's, like, they are truly a Buddha. Okay. Right? Because of the way their, like, their tendencies are. Right. And I get it now after seeing, like, the ordinary, like, people, ordinary problems. Yeah. That's sure now. Look, because we've met so many people. I'm sure, like, if you're listening to this, too, you've met so many people in your life. They're like, wow, they seem, like, very well put together. They have, like, a good... Mm-hmm. insight into things okay. you know and you're yeah. like oh that is if we were back then they would have called that person a Buddha mm-hmm. you know and it's like it's like it almost to have gone full circle with it like to, to go on this really long journey mm-hmm. of like continuous reading and like searching for things only to have it like circle back as like no they're just they're just normal people you know you go on this right. whole journey yeah, yeah, yeah. of trying to become an extraordinary person but the only extraordinary part of it is you've realized like a different perspective on life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It kind of, it's, it's almost like anticlimactic. <laughs> right. Right. Cause like this person, the, the, the person who's um, trying to convert everyone else. Yeah. He's trying to like win his way into heaven. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if he, if he came to realize that heaven is just a perspective of his own eyes, mm-hmm. like, there's heaven on earth right now. Yeah. You just need to see it that way. Right. Like how destroyed yeah, 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 would he yeah, feel yeah. as a human being? Right. Because he's like, it can't be that simple, but it is that simple, mm-hmm. you know? And that's what, that's why, that's why I feel 
you meet certain people on like the spiritual quote unquote spiritual path and they, they seem like overly eccentric like trying to escape something yeah and then it often gets said like the person with the most problems is the one trying to do the most good yeah, yeah. Right? Because they're trying to, like, fill the void of, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. you know, but to come face to face with, like, no, no, these are your problems. Mm -hmm. There's no escaping them. You just have to confront it and work your way around it. Yeah. And that almost is too much for people to bear. It's like, it's like being like this. This can't be it. This, there's no way this is real. And then it's like, yeah, this is real. This is it. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, but there's no, there's no escape. No, there's no escape. Is there a way around it? No. You mm -hmm. really just have to deal with it. Yeah. You know? And it, it, it almost, it's almost like a comedy tragedy. It's almost yeah, funny yeah, yeah, yeah. that it's like, oh, it's so simple. It's also sad because, like, there's literally no escape from your problems. <laughs> you know? Right. And I like, I like the way they put in the book. It's like the, the, uh, the awakened being just realizes the truth of the universe being this is what it is. Yeah. And just finding comfort in that mm -hmm. realization, because you're like, okay, I accept it, move on, right? Let's deal with it. Yeah, you know, it's almost like they say there's like seven stages of grief, mm -hmm. right? When you're when you find out you're dying, I I remember what they are like denial, anger, right? right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the final one's acceptance, right? But that acceptance is the highest form of enlightenment mm -hmm. to realize this is just it. Right. Literally, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah. And, it, and it, it ties into Lion King as well because Rafiki did say he's like the past can hurt but you can either learn from it or run from it right you know it's like <laughs> see I'm like me these connections damn <laughs> yeah yeah that was that was it and I, I would have to say like you you have always steadily uh, seen that it's like you and Jared you're both very into this is what it is okay and it's like, but to to label that as something more than an outlook is to create a dogma or a, or a deification. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if if I were to start being like, like, oh, you saw it like this the whole time. You had this awakened state. Our <laughs> you know, you, you start saying it like that, and it gets like it gets all like hocus pocus and kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. But if you're just like, no, you you like you realize that there's nothing to run from. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, well, that's pretty boring. That's I feel like that's why you create these elaborate tales. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of like, I, I bet you if you met like these people back in the day, like Buddha, Jesus, mm -hmm. like who else is there? Lao Tzu, the friggin', the, no, the, yeah, Lao Tzu, I think his name is, the guy who made the Tao Te Ching. Right. Or is that the art of war? Oh, whatever. But you meet, you meet these people and you're like, oh, you're just like a normal person. Mm -hmm. But you're just like viewing it in a new way. Right. And yeah. then people come to you. I was actually recently asked, like I won't go into the full story of it, but like I was recently asked for my advice on something. Mm -hmm. um, like, a, like a personal matter. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I have become that person. Right. To you. Like yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, me yeah. as like the way... Yeah. We would see a Buddha, mm -hmm. right? But it's like, I'm really just lending you a perspective. Gotcha. A balanced perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, purchase Amazon, everyone. Because oh. we got interrupted. Yeah. And um, They're trying to make their deliveries on time. I know. That's pretty good. Do you support <laughs> Amazon? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. I mean. I'm still using it. What is that? I know, I know, but like, like morally support Amazon or like, because you know, like they're like, oh, there's so much like negativity surrounding slave workers and stuff. Yeah, it's up to the government to. Set I those know, rules. right? See, some things you just can't, like, uh, it's like that Patriot Act episode. Yeah, where you talked about Amazon. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But it's like, but I, I real, I use it. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I think that's like that's the to totalitarian yeah. perspective. It's like. You see that there are problems with it, but mm -hmm. you, you're a part of the system. You're a part of the problem as well as the solution. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So buy some Amazon. All right. Well, until next time. Remember. The 5th of November. Who you are. Oh, okay. Wow. There's two different movies. We just referenced two different movies.
Yeah, this is the Lion King. I know, but remember the 5th of November is... No, I remember this as the Lion King. All right. We're excited for Lion King. Well, Vish is excited. <laughs> so, stay yes. tuned. Yes. Right. Peace.